At Edmonton's Sacred Heart Church of the First Peoples, a national parish for First Nations, Métis and Inuit people, its members have been looking forward to Sunday Mass following Pope Francis's apology for the Catholic Church's role in residential schools. Oh, I feel great today, you know. I mean, it feels as if there's lots of, a lot of load unloaded from me. But being here isn't easy for everyone. It's very hard, yeah. It's very hard. Like we are, we're trying to figure out how to process it. So we came here for prayers and, you know, the smudging. The Pope's much-anticipated apology came Friday with mixed reaction from residential school survivors. It just opened up new, uh, the wound that I thought was closed. I felt great because it, it, it did, we, need, we need that as a survivor. Sacred Heart's elder Fernie Marty says he believes a majority of Indigenous Albertans are accepting of the Pope's apology, but... You're sometimes going to continue being bitter and hateful and the rest of it. Sad to say that uh, they're not looking at their own personal healing. He says the healing process will be different for everyone. Now we have to figure out how does this Pope apology fits into our life. So now we need to all group together and really pray for some answers. And whatever way it, the healing path is for you, that's the way you go. Marty says he hopes the Pope's apology is just the beginning. They made a start in Rome. Now they're going to come here to Canada and talk to the indigenous peoples here. Uh, and I believe that's very important that they do, they do that. The Pope is expected to travel to Canada possibly in late July. These church officials believe the pontiff's trip could include a stop in Alberta. It's a visit parishioners are looking forward to. We're happy, we're joyful, but under the surface we have to realize that the reason he's coming is for a very serious reason. Now the, the healing journey really, really, really begins. Chris Chacon, Global News.